That's what you need to fear. Not this. This is all of the world. It's of the devil. You need to fear God. Where do we buy tickets from? I don't. I don't know. I'm trying to give you the ticket to heaven. It's Jesus Christ. <laughs> but you have to turn from your sin. You got to repent. Well, a lot of people believe in Jesus, but I know have they received know, I know Jesus? He, I know He exists. Right. Well, the Bible says um, you, there's, you can know that there's one God, even the demons believe and tremble, that they believe that there's one God. But you've got to receive His salvation. What is it? I'm just preaching the gospel. I'm just a Christian. Okay, hi. Uh, I'm walking across the United States. Do you want to be on my show? I was here on the... I walked all the way from Long Branch, New Jersey. Oh, well, I mean, I'm just preaching the gospel, so. What are, why are you doing it? It's my dream. It's and, the guy, and Jesus says, well, you work, you just walk. No, he didn't say that. Where is that at in the Bible? You've got to do God's work. The Bible's been interpreted in so many different ways. Right here. Well, I mean, you don't, look, you don't believe the Bible, then you don't know God. No, I mean, Right, but I mean, it doesn't mean that you're saved. Okay. Everyone believes in God. I'm not denying that. Do you really think God, all that, all, he knows everything, he's all known, right? You think he's going to create people saying, I love you, and he knows everybody, he knows the outcome of everything. He knows people are going to believe in different religions, people are different because do different things like this. That's why Jesus came and died for us, because... It's very much a reset for us. So pretty much he saw all this was gonna happen. And that's why he died. So as long as you have faith in God and you and you have love in your heart, he'll take you to his head. Well look, I mean God in the beginning when he created Adam and Eve and sin entered in because yeah. they disobeyed God. Yeah. Right? When God came, he called for Adam. He said, Where are you? Yeah. Well, so it, was he just putting up? Well, yeah, that's why he came. Was he putting up a false? Was he? He knew where he was. He just called him. Am I on camera? I mean, yeah, I'm good. But what I'm saying is, look, what I'm saying, this is serious, man. What I'm saying is, your sin separates you from God. Yeah, you walk right. away from God. And God you is. choose to do it. Yeah. We all choose to sin. Well, that's why you always ask for. Well, right, but if you're just asking for forgiveness, knowing that you're just going to go back and sin again. No, well, it's no one's perfect either. You know that. Well, I mean, Jesus, I mean, I'm going to give you a Bible verse that Jesus said. He said to be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. Yeah. yeah but so then how do you become perfect wait, like that? Wait, he knew that wasn't going to happen at the outcome. The outcome of everything. He knows that people are not going to be perfect. Okay. Nothing is hidden from God's sight. He knows. He, he's going to judge the, the evil and the good. So it's his gospel, right? But he's called us all to repent of all our sins. I mean, would you say you're a sinner? Oh, we're all sinners. Well, you're judging everybody. I ask you. Yeah, I'm a sinner. You're a sinner? So, I mean, what sins can't you stop doing? Well, you choose to sin. We're born in sin because we're born with the nature to sin. But when, when, sin, when sin tempts us, we fall. We fall, but we all chose to do that. Yeah, yeah. God doesn't just create no, sinners. No, no, you, create you see what I'm saying? No, no. But He always takes you into His arms. He's all forgiving. All well, he doesn't do that for everyone. Yeah, There's going to be people cast into hell. Yeah, because they choose to go to hell. Well, they reject the gospel of Jesus Christ. They reject the truth. Well, I think I, but a lot of people don't follow the, the same way. So well, I mean, I see what you're saying, that they choose. Yeah, they choose not to obey God. They, they don't know The Bible God. says that, that, that they're blinded by their own unrighteousness. But what I'm saying is, I mean, you can't be a sinner and enter into heaven. Yeah, no, but that's why we forgive us. If, but he doesn't just do it. you gotta, you got to respond yeah, to what he's done. Really sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what was your name again? I'm Brian. Brian? I don't even know if I got it. Joe. Nice Joe to meet you, Brian. Yeah. Well, but see, this day. stuff, I, I got that. But this stuff, man, it's it's of the world. And then it's of the world. The level of, yeah. Oh, okay. How you doing? You want to talk to you for a little bit? Well, I don't just shake people's hand hastily. I was talking to him. But. So you're not yeah, godly. Well, he kind of just walked in and kind of buttered so in there. So you're not godly, then. I come to shake your hand and introduce myself. And you want hey, nice to talking to you, man. Please yeah. consider it. Consider it, man. I will. I will. Consider it. Read that track, too. I believe in...
cross tattoo. Now, I gave you one, right? I got a Jesus tattoo, got a cross on that. But I mean, it's you got to receive his salvation through faith and grace, but you got to repent of your sin. Repent of all your sin. All of them. And walk in holiness, okay? Anyway, say that one more time. You've got to repent of all your sin and walk in holiness. Because God is going to condemn those who have not received Jesus Christ. All right? Do it today. Do it today, man. God bless you, man. Yeah. What's that? I said, now that you finish out the museum, are you going to come over and say hello? Oh, okay. Hello? So, you're godly, right? Jesus was living. You need Jesus. Jesus Christ. What did he say? Jesus is living? <laughs> Amen. So let me ask you something. Why did you keep this out of me when I walked up? Well, I mean, you kind of just came up and kind of put your hand out and I was I, talking to him. Yeah. Right, That's right. That was a little rude. It was? Yeah, yeah, you sure. That was rude. Sure. We were, I was in a conversation. Me coming up to say hello to you was rude, but you mm -hmm. acting ugly to me. Well, I mean, I'm not here to preach. I'm not out here to just get in arguments with people. Well, I'm sorry you felt that way. I'm sorry you felt that way. Okay. Okay, how are you doing? I just, well, what did you need? Do you, you have a question? Do you have a question or something? Do you think God would shake my hands? Uh, I've never read in the Bible where any God shook people's hands. Do you think God would treat me the way you're treating me now? I mean, why did you come over here? I'm asking you What's your reason? I'm I want to have a conversation with you. Okay. Do you think God would treat me the way you're treating me right now? You think God would shun me and not shake my hand? Because I sure think He would. I'm not saying I'm shunning you. I just want. Are you a Christian? I sure am a Christian. You are a Christian, born again. Yes, I am. All right. You're walking in holiness. I, I love my holiness. God. Yes, but let me ask you this: Who are you to judge me? I was asking you questions. You I didn't judge you. You just asked me questions. I mean, I could. You could judge me. Sure. The Bible no. says a spiritual man in First Corinthians. No, only yes. God can judge me. Oh, no, he's the final judge. We're allowed to judge. No, we're in the hunt. I wouldn't Jeannie, judge you. Jeannie, listen to what you did I real quick. I wouldn't judge you. Jeannie, you, 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 you just, you just, you just judged me. I didn't judge you. You just said I was judging. That's judging me. I just asked you and you said you would judge me. I could judge you okay. because a spiritual man judges all things. But and you're not he, judging me. You, you didn't just treat me badly and shake my hand and you're acting like I'm a pariah center trying to talk to me. Well, you came up and just kind of just... Move right into this conversation. Would a Christian do that? Just butt right in, or would they wait, or would they just listen? What did no, you? Did you? That's ignorant. Do you have a question? That's ignorant. Do you have a question? No, I come over to talk to you. Well, you need Jesus. Yeah. No, so, see, and that's really arrogant of you to tell me I need Jesus because we all need Jesus. I need I Jesus. I don't talk to you the way that you think I should. Well, I need Jesus. Yes. You I'm not saying it's just because of that. I mean, if there's any sin in your life, you well, need Jesus. Well, I'm gonna tell you how I am. I wouldn't treat you ugly. I don't care how much you sound out here preaching. Matter of fact, I'm glad you believe in God, and it does my heart good to see that you do that. I'm glad you're sharing it with everybody. I wouldn't treat you ugly like you just did me. Okay. Because it doesn't bother me that you're here. You can come here every night, and you can tell everybody that this this is. I hope you're telling them this is pretend because we're not saying that it's not pretend. We're not saying that it's real. We're doing this, and our money goes into the community for a good reason. But it's wicked. It's ungodly. So you support can, this? Can, you sponsor can, this? Can, can I, uh, you sponsor can I, and support this? Money? I mean, I don't need to. I don't have to okay. listen. I'm not here to represent Jesus Christ, to share the truth with people. You're not that... even letting me finish. You think I'm with them, so you're talking to me ugly. That's my No, I'm just asking you. you. I'm no, asking you. No. As soon as Are you supporting this? As soon as you think do you support I'm this? this? As soon as... Look, do you talk to people like You haven't like... even answered my question. I'm do you support this? I'm not to until I, I, I get across the point of how you're treating me. You are judging and treating me ugly because you think I'm with the haunted house. I walked up here and tried to talk to you because you you, 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 you put yourself out here and say that you're godly, that you're a godly person, you believe in God and you love everybody, and that you'll talk if you're trying to give all of this lesson to these people out here. But when I walked up to you and approached you, you treated me with ugliness and not, not kindness. Well, you I, cannot be I didn't know who you were. Because you said I was so rude. Yeah, because you, you're so you scary did, right here and I'm you a did, woman. You did butt right in oh the God. conversation. So, now you just blaspheme so, God. So, you just blaspheme so, God's so, name. So You're not a Christian. So, you need to be rebuked. You do. Blasphemers. The Bible says this. It says, my enemies take my name in vain. God's enemies take his name in vain. And that's wicked. You're wicked. You're false. You're, you're false. You need Jesus. Read, read that track. Repent. Repent of your sin. You need to repent of all your sins today. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. 
I'm not with this group. It's wicked. 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 This is a wicked false, false testimony of God right here. She blasphemed the name of God. She needs to repent of her sins. Coming up saying, I'm a Christian, but dropping G-O-D just like it's nothing. Using God's name in it irreverently. You need to repent, woman. You need to repent. Turn from your sin. Jesus came to set the captives free. Jesus Christ, born of a virgin. He came to take away the sins of the world, to take away your sin. You've got to be concerned for your life. The truth, the truth is your sin has damned you to hell. But there's good news. You can be forgiven of your sin. The Bible says he who sins is of the devil. You need Jesus Christ. You need Jesus. No, don't touch me. Oh. No. There you go. No. Okay. You need Jesus Christ. I didn't come out here for hugs. That's what people try to act like. That's the gospel. Give me a hug. That's the gospel. No. The gospel is that your sin is going to condemn you to hell. But the good news is that Jesus Christ died for your sin and my sin. I deserve to go to hell. But see, I found the grace of God in Jesus Christ. And I believe God. I believe God. 